Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing an entirely different video than I've done before. I'm actually using new equipment here, state of the art uh, microphone um, and I'm really really enjoying it. So um, we're just going to go ahead and get into it and I'm going to talk about the stuff that you don't know about me. So one of the questions that I always get um, is what is my favorite food? Oh my god, I am a foodie, so I have so many things that I love to eat. I wouldn't be the weight that I am now if it wasn't for food, honey, okay? So, um, I love Italian food. It is my favorite. Um, chicken piccata, uh, risotto, uh, things like that. I do have Italian ancestry, <laughs> believe it or not. I do, so I really love and gravitate towards things that I shouldn't be eating, but oh my god, pasta is the bomb and growing up I always loved spaghetti so like that was the major thing that I, I love the most uh, of all you know like entrees or food groups all right so some people want to know what is my favorite color I love the color of the rainbow I love all colors I really don't have one well I do have one in specific that I really really gravitate towards but it would be the color black only because it's universal it's sophisticated, it slims you, and um, I don't know, I just love black, so that's like my favorite color that I would always gravitate towards and probably use. The second color I would say it would be blue. I always get asked, what would you do if you weren't doing psychic mediumship work? What would you do? Um, believe it or not, I was a, I'm a jack of all trades, and uh, as a Gemini, I've done so many jobs that people don't even know about. I used to work in retail um, at Hobby Lobby as a cashier slash stalker, um, and so I would stock some of the products on the aisles and the end caps. Of course, that sort of took all my money, but that's another for another time. Um, I used to work in a call center. I worked at doing medical billing. Um, I worked as an administrative assistant, um, a senior business analyst, a training liaison. Um, I worked as a, a scheduler for a, a large um, manufacturer. Um, so I've done like a little bit of everything. And if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, I guess what I would be doing is fashion designing because that was my passion. It still is. And I still, when I have time, I love to, you know, come up with ideas and sketch. Um, you know, I, I love doing fashion designing. I didn't go to fashion design school, but it's just one of those talents that you have. Um, and I would practice as a child always sketching um, and doodling and cutting out. Uh, oh my God. So like when I was little, I had this thing where um, I would cut out like the little models um, and I would try to, out of the newspaper, like cut cut them out of the newspaper or, or the you know, the inserts on Sunday's magazines and I would actually try to draw them um, or I would outline the bodies and stuff because to me that was the easiest way for to be like, a model right so yeah <laughs> I always get asked about my skin I don't feel like my skin is the best skin care thingy but I get asked all the time like what is the best skincare product that you use like what is your favorite product it would have to be this it's by Lancome Lancome uh, it is advanced genifique concentrate um, and it's a youth activating concentrate and so I'm gonna just it's a serum and it, basically you can when you unscrew it, it comes in this vial that you see here, and um, this is like a little pump. So you just pump it like to get it into the um, the actual thing here, and then I'll just like and you'll see the difference. And like I'll add it here and just everywhere and just kind of like um, smooth it in. It kind of brightens you up. I wanted to do the demo here on camera I don't know it just makes me my skin feel happy uh, and it makes me feel like I'm glowing and I haven't used it a lot I try not to exfoliate a whole bunch in my skincare routine because um, I believe like that strips you of natural oils and things um, but I just drink a lot of <laughs> water like this is my go-to what is my favorite place in the world um, if I could go to it I feel like it would be Paris it would be the Eiffel Tower 
uh, it would be France. Uh, also, I would love to go to Maldives. Um, and then I would love to visit Madrid or Barcelona. Uh, and of course, Australia. But I feel like the, you know, those are like the ideal places. But if I had to choose just one, it definitely would be Paris. I don't know. It's just, it's romantic. It's beautiful. It is... Uh, mon chéri. <laughs> If I had to say, like, where I've traveled, what was my favorite vacation that I've ever taken, um, I would have to say uh, it was New Orleans. Like, I had so much fun in New Orleans. In 2016, I actually traveled to Cozumel, and this was abroad um, a ship. And I loved the experience, but I chose a month. I never traveled. I never had a cruise before. And the waters were very choppy, so it wasn't a pleasant experience at night, let me tell you. And the bed is just, like, moving back and forth, back and forth. And as you're walking down the ship, you know, floors, like, the decks, like, all the, the, the ship, you know, you feel like your feet, you're losing, like, leverage and you're losing a balance. It's like it's going back and forth, back and forth. Not to mention that a lot of women were, um, and men were vomiting because they were drinking. And if you drink alcohol uh, and you mix that, you know, with motion sickness, like mo motion sickness, you get very, very sick. So anything will come up. But I have to say that I really, really enjoyed um, New Orleans. It was such a beautiful, it's such a beautiful city. It was a beautiful experience. I got to meet up with my friend Pamela Williams, um, and we visited a lot of shops and, um, different places. Um, so yeah, the culture and it just, if you've never been to New Orleans, I definitely would recommend, you know, after this pandemic is over, et cetera, to go and check it out. I think you would really, really enjoy it. Um, not only because they have psychic readers or, they have crystal shops, but the food, my God, the food is so good. If you do go, check out this place called Muriel's on Jackson Square, I believe, or Mur Muriel's. It's so delicious. The food there is good. Very, very good. A lot of people don't know uh, on my channel that I actually am bilingual, so hablo español. Uh, I have a lot of Latin um, in my bloodline as well, so... Um, yeah, that is my second language. I know how to read it, write it, and speak it fluently. I just don't choose to do so. Um, but I have had the longest thoughts of opening a second channel and just being like a Walter Mercado, um, doing, you know, videos, um, primarily in Spanish, like he would, you know, because he was such an inspiration, a big pillar in my upbringing, um, watching a lot of telenovelas and things like of that nature. I would always see him and I would be mesmerized by his presence and, the fact that he would read people on, you know, on TV and et cetera. So like he was a big inspiration for myself and for a lot of colleagues out there. So I really, really, um, will always love, you know, love, uh, his presence, his soul that, you know, in his presence while he was here on earth. Um, if I had to say what was my favorite, um, memory, maybe growing up, I would say having to visit, um, Fiesta, Texas, and, um, and actually, like, I think I was, like, in seventh grade, and I went with the Spanish club, um, and my Spanish teacher, she was a sweetheart, may she rest in peace, she's no longer alive, but she, um, she was a great, great teacher, and even though I wasn't a member of the Spanish club, I was one of the top boys, uh, in the classroom, and so she decided to, um, take me for free and I'll never forget how generous she was and the experience itself just being like what maybe 12 13 years old going to Fiesta Texas this huge amusement park in San Antonio Texas if you've never been to one you should um see it it's like the Six Flags um but it's like Fiesta Texas is like um so many different cultures and um rides and you know water slides and things like that and I remember going into um one of the shops myself and um and looking at everything i was so i was in such awe and then i remember also going into what they call germantown and they had like inside this pub um it was like a pub where they served like german sausages on a stick and people could drink beer i guess and they had performers on stage it was so so fun and they had a reenactment of greece um in one of the theaters that they had there so yeah it's like my fondest memory growing up it was such a magical place. Some people like Disney. I like a Fiesta Texas. To me, it was um, a staple, you know, here in South Texas. Um, you know, if you are from Texas, you probably know what, what I'm talking about. It is changed. I'm pretty sure it's changed by now. And they've added new things or 
um, things have changed, but um, I had so much fun when I did go there. My greatest dream, I would say, would have to be being on TV um, and having a show where I could actually use the platform to bring a lot of my rays of light, a lot of you out there that are colleagues that um, you know are doing your thing, you're doing what I'm doing, and you have gifts, and just bringing on special people from all walks of life and letting the world see a glimpse into our world that um, we are not frauds, we are not scammers, we're not what people make us out to be. Even though people will always have a judge, you know, some kind of opinion about us, that's not our business about what people think about us. But that's one of my greatest dreams um, to achieve. So um, it's on my vision board. It's something that I always um, think about, and I'm, you know, I manifest and see myself already on TV, and I'm here on my YouTube channel. So I mean, it's it's kind of like. I'm living out my dream through YouTube um, for now, but I know that eventually some days, you know, that, that dream will come true. When I'm not working, when I'm not doing anything like this, I love to do several things. I love to sing. I love to listen to music. Um, I love to um, basically cook. <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed to say that, but I love to get in the kitchen and bake and cook. And um, I just love, love that. And I love being outside. I love being under a tree or hugging a tree or just uh, being out in nature and just listening to the sound. You know, of course, it, in South Texas, honey, it gets a very, very hot, like very, very quick. So it's very difficult to be outside here um, when it's humid. Uh, and it's 113, but it feels like 120 outside. Because let me tell you, um, a lot of people in California always complain about it being hot and scorching. But until you've been in South Texas and you've been by the coast where it's a hot humidity, it's like a sauna outside. It's just like standing outside when it's so humid. Um, you'll just start pouring and you'll have your workout. Like you could literally just stand there and be you know, sweating up a storm and you start having all these little beads of sweat popping up and decorating your shirt. It's embarrassing if you're standing out in the heat. But, um, yeah. Um, I don't have any pets. I did have a cat and his name was Tiger when I was very little. He was an orange tabby with uh, blue eyes. He was so adorable. And we went on vacation and when I came back, um, he was gone. Um, I don't know what happened to him, but we never found him, and I never got another pet after that. But my favorite pet would be cats. I love cats. I'm such a big cat person. Like, I can see myself being old and being that cat lady that has cats. Oh, I, I hope, you know, I get old and never um, have to be single, but, you know, I would never mind having kitties. Uh, of course, I wouldn't be, like, crazy and have... 50 cats, but maybe about two or three cats at, at most, but I have a spe uh, cats hold a special place in my heart. I don't know what it is about them, but every time I see a kitty, I'm like, oh my God, they're so precious and they're so smart and intuitive. Like cats are very, very intuitive. Um, I don't know if you've, if people that are not cat lovers, I'm like, what is wrong with you? But I love dogs. I love all God's creatures, like all of them, um, except for one. <laughs> there's one that I do not like but it's not an animal okay okay so apart from all my fears my greatest fear uh, and I guess um, eluding from the other question that I had actually answered um, what is my um, you know what pets I, I love the most and I said cats what I despise the most the, the one vile creature that I will never will like and I, my skin crawls just talking about it, are the giant cockroaches. Honey, I'll be hitting the Mariah notes and, and <laughs> running out, out of the room if there's the big, big uh, water roaches. Like, I have a story here. Oh, my God. One night I was in my bedroom, and this was before I learned about the thing of called exterminators and having them come out and spraying to, you know, prevent roaches and stuff because... Um, I'm not a dirty person. I don't leave food out. I'm very clean and everything, but they will find their way. Trust me. They, if there was like an apocalypse and everything would be eradicated, the last thing that would survive were, would be those nasty roaches that I am so terrified of, like completely. But one night I was in my bedroom, I was falling asleep and I kept hearing the scratching sound. And I was like, what is it? 
and I kept hearing it was like like scratching like blinds but it was this roach I guess flapping its wings oh just thinking about it makes my skin crawl but anyways I, I turn on the light I get up and it I sort of got this thing had it out for me and it was gonna attack me like I feel violated just talking about it it, it was traumatizing so this thing and I could see it, it had this like antennas you know and he was just like and it just like came straight to me and I was all oh, I was like get it off of me get it off of me anyways um <laughs> it got it got in the back of my because I sleep with tank tops um so it got in my tank top in the back and it crawled in I literally took on my shirt and I was like screaming get it off get it out I was like, in retrospect now if I go back and think about it it's it's funny like my phobia and my fear of them have gotten a lot better but like whenever I used to see fear factor or those shows where they would have people like um in a tub and then roaches like poured a honey I'd be dead like I would I could not do that I could not could not could not could not and countries that eat roaches because let me tell you some countries they are very very weird they eat roaches like I could could not eat roaches at all it's like something I would, I just would never would do. Silver or gold? A lot of people ask me or may may not know know this about me, but I'm actually more of a gold person. Uh, I love the gold jewelry. I love gold, um, but I love silver too. It just depends on the mood. A lot of times I'm very mixed on my jewelry. Like this is my hand where I have silver jewelry this is my side where I have the gold gold plated jewelry right so like I have silver and gold um and my watch is gold so like I I just I don't know I gravitate I'm weird like that I'm I'm very weird oh my god my favorite tv series growing up it would have to have been charmed and Buffy the Vampire Slayer I was all like just in awe. I wanted to be Buffy so bad. I'm just kidding. But I really, really loved those shows growing up. Buffy and Charmed. And it was like pop culture. And it was like um, what we grew up with. Like, I don't know what your favorite show. Some people like Dawson's Creek or Felicity. Um, I believe, you know, those those kind of shows. Like, um, there was, what's the other shows that came out? The Friends came out in the early 90s. Um, Seinfeld, but I, I was major, majorly into Buffy. I was obsessed. And um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and also the movie. I love the, the original movie um, with Christy Swanson. She's such a talented actress. Um, and then, you know, um, Charmed. And then, you know, now, I guess, like, you know, now that I'm older, um, I really still go back and watch Charmed and I watch a lot of these uh, older um, shows like some of the new shows they just don't do anything for me like I really don't find find them very entertaining but I mean there's there's some good shows out on Netflix right so there, there's good shows out there but it's like um, Sabrina is like another good show out there but you know I miss like the charm ones I miss um, those those kind of shows I wish they would do um, you know, a remake or a movie or something like that. They need to come back. 